Hi students, chapter 7, chapter 7, agents, agents of erosion and deposition, deposition, there are four sections here. Section 1, <coughs> active rivers. Section 2, section two sh shorelines, erosion and deposition. Section 3, wind erosion and deposition. Section 4, the effect of gravity on erosion and deposition. Today we are going to study section 4. What is section 4? The effect of gravity on erosion and deposition. Let us start. The effect of gravity is also an agent of erosion and deposition. Gravity not only influences the movement of water and ice, but also causes rocks and soil to move down slope. Mass movement. Mass movement important. Sometimes it is coming in Nishtiman exam. Please focus that point or you have to memorize a movement of a section of land down a slope a movement of a section of land down slope when the part of mass move from one place to another the angle of repose very important materials such as rock soil or snow moves downhill until slope becomes stable the angle of repose the angle of repose is the steepest angle at the which loose material will not slide down slide down slope the angle of repose is different for different surface material size weight shape and moisture level determine at what angle material will move down slope Angle of repose very important. For example, we have two hill. One of them uh, angle of repose 30, the other one 60. The material from here move, uh, move, move very fast. What about here? The movement in that place move very uh, slow. Rapid mass movement. Rapid mass movement is movement of a section of land down slope the most destructive mass movement happen suddenly rapidly rapid mass movement movement can be dangerous and can destroy everything in these paths for example can destroy animal can destroy human being can destroy plant can destroy car bridge roads another example here uh, part of land move from here to here so what happened this is also movement of land or movement of mass angle of repose here it is angle of repose 10 angle of repose 60 so the material move here faster because of why angle of repose Rock falls happen when loose material fall down a steep slope. The rocks can range in size form small fragment to large boulders. Mass movement like rock falls happen suddenly and rapidly and can be very dangerous because it is destroy roads as you see, destroy human beings, cars, uh, animals. Landslide, landslide, a part of land, as you see, move from one pl place to another, as you see here, this one we call landslide, another example here, as you see it is destroyed many plants and trees. Landslide are sudden and rapid movement of a large amount of material downslope. The most common type of landslide is a slump. 
slumping occurs when a block of land block of land becomes detached and slide downhill. Heavy rains, deforestation, construction on unstable slopes and earthquake increase the change that landslide will happen. Alright, we have some question about that point. <clears throat> Our first question is, which of the following process is not part of the water cycle? Remember water cycle, part of water cycle. Firstly, condensation. First one, condensation. Another one, evaporation. Percolation, number three. Remember other, other part. For example, rain off or run off, run off. Remember other other one. For example, uh, condensation, evaporation, uh, precipitation. precipitation uh, number six we can we can say uh, condensation evaporation per percolation run of freezing freezing number seven boiling boiling they are all of them part of uh, water cycle all right which what about deposition deposition it is not part of water cycle all right even here we can check the example precipitation percolation evaporation condensation runoff so they are part of water cycle what about precipitation precipitation rain snow sleet one from cloud to come surface of earth question uh, two students which of the following occurs Along very steep slope, landslide, slum, creep, rockfall. Let us check. Rockfall, it has to be rockfall. Rockfall happen when loose rocks fall down a steep slope. Page 141, if you check, you can see that the, the, this sentence. While driving along mountain road, you may have noticed sign along the road that worn up, worn off, feeling broke. Yeah, answer will be uh, D. Question two, students. Question two: Which feeders are common in youthful river channel? As you remember, uh, youthful rivers are young rivers. So, what is properties of? Uh, uh, youthful rivers its channel is narrow and straight the speed of water very very fast the river follows quickly the river tumble, tumbles over rocks in rapid and waterfalls what is the answer answer will be C question for students one wave cut completely through a headland a uh, is formed remember five kind of sea cliff five kind of sea cliff i told you you have to memorize them because it is coming in nishtimani exam i choose some question from nishtimani exam all right our answer will be sea arc what, what about the definition of sea arcs Sea arcs from one wave action continues to erode a sea cave, cutting completely through the rock. This one, definition of sea arc. All right. Question uh, five. A, nor a narrow strip of sand that is formed by wave deposition 
is connect to the shore or shoreline is called uh, in section 3 section 2 and 3 what about uh, choices barrier split sandbar wave cut terrace headland barrier split is an exposed sandbar that is connect to shoreline this one the answer will be of course barrier split answer will be a question six students one term described the grinding and wearing a wave of rock surface very important when you see that sentence you are going to uh, remember some things through the action of sand particles blown by winds it is going to be it is going to be of course abrasion surface of earth rocks when you see surface of rocks you, you are going to understand abrasion abrasion very important abrasion and weathering very important uh, you have to memorize that abrasion the grinding and wearing away of rock surface again here through the mechanical action of other rocks or sand particles you can find that sentence from 137 you can find the definition of uh, abrasion 